Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 191. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. What are It's quite loud actually, I might have to turn that down. Much better. There we go. Apologies for anyone that I've just absolutely blasted their eardrums out. With me. I don't know why, but I think this might also still be a little too loud with the car audio. I'm not 100% sure. The only reason the uh, capture card was as loud as it was was because of, um, what's it called? The wipeout stream the other day. Yo, Kato, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Nice. Going around to a friend's house soon. Yo, you should totally watch my stream at your friend's house and get them to watch my content. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, this is the John Wick song. This is a song that's in John Wick Chapter 4. Zeno, what up? It's Tom, he won't watch it. Sag. Yeah, this is probably going to be the last uh, FM3 stream. Just because of the fact that I am pushing to finish it today. Should take about six hours to do. Um, yeah, because the last stream went on for about four and a half hours and I was nowhere near finishing. I was like, I'm not doing a 12 hour stream. So, missed so many fucking streams. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Also, no worries about missing the streams, honestly. Dreams. Dreams. At least you're here for the last uh, Motorsport 3 stream. But you've got to be there for the next stream. Because uh, the next stream for Forza is obviously the start of Motorsport 4. So. That is going to be quite exciting. Also, what I'm planning on doing, um, I'm planning on going on an alternate account. Because obviously on... Uh, no, that probably won't work. Never mind. Well, what I'm planning on doing for the... Um, FM4 with no AI difficulty options. Does FM4 not have AI difficulty in it? Now that you mention it, I don't remember seeing one. No, I think it does. I think it's just in a different menu. FM4 will be awesome. But I think it's going to be shorter than this one. Uh, only because I've looked at some of the events. Uh, I don't know. The AI adapts to your skill level on the track. Oh, fair enough. So that's why FM4, it feels much better then, I guess. 
They should definitely make that have a return. Adaptive skill. Even if it's just an option, you pick adaptive skill level and it will adapt to your driving. Yeah, Driver Tars, to be honest, when Driver Tars first came out in Motorsport 5, yeah, we'll go FM4 then FH1. So, but yeah, when um, FM5 came out, Motorsport 5, and it introduced. I hope they go back to something like this. Um. But yeah, Motorsport 5, when they introduced driver tires, it felt good. And it was like, oh. But it was literally just your name. Your friends' names above the cars. Which, by the way, for anyone... Um, I'm wiping my entire Xbox friends list on Xbox. Mainly because I don't play with people anymore. So it doesn't bother me. But also because anyone that adds me on Xbox, I want their names to appear. Like their gamer tanks to appear in the playthroughs. So for FM5, FM6, FM7, Horizon 2, 3, 4 and 5, I want it to be all people on my friends list. Yeah, they, they were good in theory, but it was literally just names above cars. Um... But yeah, starting with Motorsport 4, um, going, I, I'm literally going to add, remove everyone from my Xbox friends list, and if somebody wants me to add them, they have to follow me on Xbox, and then I'll re-add them back. And obviously, if I'm already on your friends list, you'll have to unfollow and then re-follow for me to get notified about it but I won't remove you Kodo because obviously you don't want to be removed and whatnot but because I'd just then be adding you straight back on everyone else will get removed because the only people that I want appearing on the actual driver tiles are people that are in stream people that watch the content so yeah this Koenigsegg is good Zeno, you missed the uh, McLaren stream. You know the McLaren that we drove in Motorsport 2? That was amazing sounding and everything. I picked it specifically for the S-Class World Championship. I made that promise from the start. And I fulfilled that promise and you weren't there. But I expect to see a comment on the videos that come out. The videos are all edited, they're ready to go. Uh, it should be coming out in about two weeks' time. So. Maybe a week and a half. So. I can watch it back at least. Oh, well, that's working. I thought I removed that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now people know that it's possible. School. Probably, more than likely. Busy with all the crap. Ah, fair enough. Well, whatever you're busy with, it doesn't really matter too much. I do have, um, I have my next few streams planned out. Uh, I haven't sort of done the watch pages yet where you can click notification bells and whatnot. Um, but those pages will be up by tonight. So if you're in my Discord, keep an eye on the schedule page because I'll re-update the schedule uh, tonight with all the links because I have to do that tonight because otherwise I won't be ready for the next stream.
Biddy 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 biddy. Is he on GC7? Probably. <laughs> You're going for a piss shower. What's a piss shower? <laughs> Were you pissing in the shower? Ugh, weird. <laughs> Well, uh, hopefully we see you afterwards, Zeno. <laughs> Whatever your piss shower is. <laughs> Did do a 40-minute league race last night on GT7. Piss in the shower and lunch. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, it's... Oh, fuck's sake. I hate the fact that all the names are the same colour on YouTube. I'll be honest. I keep bringing up the wrong person's name, so, great. <laughs> Fuck the toilet. That's so weird, Kodo. You're on another planet. Ah! I'm on another planet. <laughs> Eighteen seconds to win by is pretty easy for you, though. So you know, <laughs> like if it if it was anyone else, I'd be like, "Wow, Zeno, eighteen seconds, bloody hell!" But it's you. <laughs> You're beast mode at GT. Like, why wasn't it thirty seconds, huh? <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I'm joking. No, the CCGT needs a lot more appreciation. 100%. Um, that's why I was quite excited. Uh, was it the CCGT that they added in Horizon 4 from Fortune Island? It wasn't the CCX. My strategy was just better. <laughs> Good strategy call. I'm terrible at fucking strategy calls and whatnot in racing games. Dreadful at them. I was um I was at work the other day, and for the entire end of uh, the shift, just listening to the prodigy, just listening to the prodigy, and there was some. Uh, my playlist has a load of songs from the po prodigy, even songs that most people forget the prodigy made. Um, but there's one song by the prodigy, and they had Tom Morello on it, um, who is the guitarist from Rage Against the Machine as well, but he's sort of his own, it's sort of like Slash, almost. You know how Slash, oh he's part of Guns N' Roses, but he's his own. Tom Morello's kind of the same thing as well. Yo, what up? Seen you in a while, don't know if you remember, but it's epic. Yo, epic, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully I have a good day, Epic. Long time no see, man. Not seeing other people's chats. Um, try refreshing. If that doesn't work, um, double check that it's set to live chat at the top and not top chat. Because uh, sometimes that doesn't work. Do, 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 do. Probably. I mean, the last time I streamed before I restarted at the start of this month was um, December the 28th or the 29th, potentially. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the exact date, to be fair.
Well, hopefully that's fixed it. Well, as of right now, yeah, shit's going really well for me. Um, yeah, I've, honestly, I'm the happiest I've been for about 10 years. Easily. Um... In terms of tiredness, I'm the most tired I've been in about 10 years because I'm doing so much work and so much streaming and so much everything. But I'm I'm happy while I do it. It's fucking strange. But I'm enjoying it and I think that's all that matters right now. I've got my super fast internet, I've got my super fast PC, I've got my super fast everything. I'm, I'm not complaining. Be less tired then. <laughs> is the chat's not loading at all then? Well, that is very strange. Peak, peak indeed. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Go, go, go. Move, 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 move. See, I'm pushing it along. I'm pushing the Koenigsegg along. There you go. Hey, good thing it's fixed, at least. So you can see who I'm talking to. And you can see when I fuck up. <laughs> yeah, Zeno, I swear I've known you for like... Two years, almost? But yeah, for anyone watching on the videos, um, this will still apply by the time this video goes out. Uh, and anyone watching live now, it also will apply. Up until the end of August, every 100 views, if we hit 100 views on a stream, I will give to channel membership. There and then, if we get 200 views in a stream, two channel memberships. 300 views, three channel memberships. So, if you guys want to see those channel, get a free channel membership, was mech's mod for a bit. You were, you were. I haven't got any mods on YouTube. Because I just, I, I don't think I need them. Uh, a modding on YouTube is completely different to Twitch. So, it's kind of pointless giving people mod. Because all it is, is just deleting messages, that's it. That's the only power you get. Which, I can do that. Uh, modding on Twitch was a little more... There was background tasks that you could still do as a moderator on Twitch. There's nothing you can do as a mod on, on YouTube, so... I haven't added anyone. I don't think I will. The only moderator, technically, is Stream Elements Bot. And that is probably going to be the only mod that I have. Because I just don't physically see the point. Um, maybe once I start getting more and I need, like, a full-time mod. But that would be, like... If I was getting a hundred chat messages a minute or something like that. But uh, the cool thing that I do like about this though is that YouTube actually has a proper live analytics feature compared to... Th there's a lot of little features that I prefer about YouTube over Twitch. So for example, this is more a personal preference. I know a lot of streamers will find this tedious. But I like making individual videos out of things. Like, I like when I can stream and it has a subject. It has a purpose. Like, some streamers just turn on the camera and do whatever. And I did that for a little bit as well. But Twitch is a perfect platform for that. But when you want to make, like, proper videos, you want those to be kept forever. You want to do these proper, like, oh, I'm doing a Forza stream today. Twitch isn't great for that. Whereas YouTube, I can make a thumbnail that advertises that I'm doing Forza Motorsport. I can do uh, all the descriptions. So any of those links that you'd always have like bot commands for, I don't need a bot now. I just, if I have an important message or a command, I just say, yeah, just check the description and it's all there. So you can check the description if you need the Enaba affiliate link. Which, by the way, I'm an Enaba affiliate if you guys want to help 
support the channel and also get yourself some cheap games, check the link in the description. <laughs> but um, no, those, those are all in the description. And again, that is such a great feature because you can have all that stuff on hand like that. You click a button on... The only one it doesn't work on is TV. Which again is another point. Watching live stream and YouTube on TV is a lot better an experience than Twitch. On top of that, YouTube has a higher bit rate. I'm currently streaming at 15,000 kilobits a second. That is two and a half times higher than Twitch's quality. Twitch's max quality is 6,000, which means you would struggle. Like, if you were doing 1080p, this would be blocky as hell, right? I know it's still not perfect, but in comparison to what I was streaming before, I was streaming 720, 60 FPS, and it looked blocky as hell because of the fact it was 60 FPS. So I'd have to go down either to 30 FPS to make it look good, or I'd just have to put up with blocky stream and have it at 60. This, on the other hand, I can stream at 1080, 60, and it looks good. Like, the stream looks good. And it's such, so good. It's so pleasing to have that. On, on top of that, as well, I can schedule streams so people can pre-view what streams are there. Obviously, Twitch has that schedule feature as well. But Twitch's one is a little more hidden away. Whereas YouTube's, they're all there on the, your front page. They're all right there on the live tab. You can see everything. And on top of that, the channel memberships, right? It's like Twitch subs, but I get to pick how much they cost. So a silver, which is a t the second tier, is cheaper than even a tier two subscription or even a tier one. Like, I can choose exactly where I want these subscriptions to be. And it's so... I, d I think it's better for viewers. Because a viewer can go and say, Right, well... I'll... I want to support... The channel points has bugged me about Twitch. Because the problem is, right, is they didn't support creators at all. Um, that was that is one plus that I had about Mixer that I love. So people could watch streams. They would get these free points. Uh, they could also buy these points as well with money. And if you shared them with your, your favorite streamer, obviously the more of them you shared, if they got a certain amount, they get money. But you would get these points for free. So it was like free money for creators. Yo, Daniel, what's up? How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. But yeah, you, YouTube compared to Twitch is so much more enjoyable for me at the moment. But now, it leaves me in a tight spot because before I was doing YouTube and Twitch to sort of promote my brand, obviously. They always recommend to do two platforms. Now that I'm not doing Twitch, I need to find another platform to do instead I don't want to do TikTok because that's cringe but I may end up doing TikTok because it's cringe <laughs> um, yeah I'm not 100% sure yet but yeah welcome everyone hopefully everyone's having a good day today and uh, if, if you are feel free to let me know if you do want to help support the channel and hit some buttons. There's loads of different ways that you can support the channel. Uh, some of them free, some of them paid. But no matter what, every single bit of support is greatly appreciated here. TikTok is a fairly good platform despite how cringe it is, just because of the sheer amount of traffic it gets. Yeah, exactly. Um, I did try and push a couple of YouTube shorts, so what I'm thinking, if I start doing some TikToks, what I'll do is I'll post them to YouTube as well, because YouTube shorts does good numbers as well. 
I've had some YouTube shorts get uploaded. Um, I've uploaded some YouTube shorts. And some of them have gotten like one and a half K views. I did a Gran Turismo 5 one um, saying how uh, it's so nostalgic and it brings back so many memories and it got 1.5K just like that, which is insane. Um, the only problem with YouTube shorts is their life cycle for those videos are extremely short, extremely short lived. So um, when you watch a YouTube short, it's probably been uploaded within the last two weeks. After that, it will get one or two views here and there. It just stops. It goes like that and then nothing. Whereas TikTok, uh, it can actually show a lot of content, a lot of older content more continuously. So, oh shit. Bum, bum. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I don't know whether I want to do... If I do end up doing TikTok, it will be uploading to TikTok and then to YouTube as well. But I'd, I'd, probably what I'd end up doing is making the short and then uploading the short to TikTok. Because that way it's guaranteed to upload to TikTok. YouTube only accepts 60 second shorts still. Um, whereas TikTok obviously accepts, I think it's up to 10 minutes now. Because they did three minute ones and then when I started to move off of TikTok, they started uploading 10 minute videos. Yeah. I'll probably do that. The only issue is TikTok is more a, you have to be on hand with it. Oh shit, that's not good. No. They don't do that as much anymore. Though I have been seeing the numbers on um, the YouTube videos are doing pretty well. Um, a lot of them are green, which means good. That means either you're in your average range. Basically, you'll have a grey down arrow. And it's grey, not red, because they don't want to put a negative connotation on it. It's still bad. When it's grey, it means you've done worse than your typical. Um, if it's green but outlined, which is normally like a green tick, that means it's your typical. You've hit your typical, that's good. Um, but if it's a green arrow and like bold green and everything like that, it is obviously an improvement. And the only things I've been seeing are bold green and the typical ticks. That's actually quite good. Bold green and typical ticks. <laughs> but no, that's what I've been seeing on YouTube Studio. And it is good to see that. Um... Just because it means it's going somewhere, hopefully. And I really hope so, because I'd love to be able to make this. Obviously, the work that I've got at the moment, it's not full-time work. So if I could go have that, which is part-time work, and then have this as part-time, and they both pay the bills, and... I mean, at the moment, the part-time work that I've got at the moment, it's paying the bills and food and maybe being able to grab a couple of drinks out, have a night out, something like that. Like, it pays enough. It pays the rent, everything like that. Whatever I'm earning from YouTube is on top of that. And I'd love for that. I, obviously, if you say, oh yeah, I want to earn money from YouTube, a lot of people will turn around and go, well... That's greedy then, you should be doing it as a... No. YouTube costs money to do. So if I can make money back on it, and make it a full-time job, yes, please, I'll take that any day of the week. Because that's life, unfortunately. So... 
But that is that is the dream one day. To be able to go full time. I'd have to be getting like two grand a month though. To be able to go full time YouTube. And like I'd have to do that six months in a row. Got plans so I gotta go now. Hey, no worries. No worries, Epic. Well, hopefully we can see you again later. See you later, man. See you later. K&M, Performance Intake Systems. Hey, it's been nice talking to you as well, Epic. Honestly, it has been epic. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Have a nice day. Enjoy, enjoy your uh, time out. Didn't even like the stream. Like the stream. Everybody like this. The funny thing is, because of YouTube Shorts, um, everything on YouTube is just based off of likes now. Because YouTube Shorts, is, because they're so short, it was difficult for YouTube to come up with an algorithm that worked. So they just, you know, said, right, well, here you go. It's going to be based off of likes now. So pretty much, if you get a lot of likes, um, obviously views count as well. But likes is one of the easiest ways to help the algorithm. Especially when it comes to a stream and everything like that. Because what YouTube does is it says, right, well, okay, you like a lot of this guy's content. So, you also like watching this content and this content. So, if, say, for example, there's another YouTube account from somebody else on another side of the world that also watches, say, for example, I'm streamer A, and you watch streamer A, B, and C, okay? If there's another account that also watches and likes stream of B and C, YouTube will say, right, well, these people like this, so you may like streamer A as well, because a lot of it, and it basically recommends my content to people, say, say for example, I watch a lot of Arava, and um, other people watch a lot of Arava. If my fans watch a lot of Arava, if they keep liking it, maybe I'd get recommended on Arava's con- that's sort of how YouTube works now. And it's a very, um, it's an interesting way of doing it, but it makes sense. Like, if a lot of people like that content, you should share it to similar kind of people. And that's the goal of YouTube's algorithm now. Whoa, whoa! Hyundai. Yeah. Uh, Hyundai have been making a massive deal about the fact that it's not Hyundai and it's Hyundai. They made a big deal about it in the WRC because uh, a lot of the uh, <laughs> a lot of the commentators have been saying Hy Hyun Hy Hyundai and trying to correct themselves. It is kind of funny to see. Meow. Whoa, that was close. Also, another cool thing that's happened recently. I have overshot the corner. Uh, I've also upgraded my capture card. Which is awesome because the quality of the streams has gone up ridiculously. Like, the capture card, it, it's smoother, it's less stuttery. The qu it's just so good. And it's awesome to see the quality difference.
do 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 Alright, and that is another race completed. I'm gonna get that Tom Morello song that the prodigy did. All right, here we go. Road America. Bam wow. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Wow wow. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Dog of the reservoir. Cars in friction. Watch you. But yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. The fuck are you doing? Get the fuck back. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Dog of the reservoir, hold and friction. Absolutely hate this track. Hate it with a passion. Honestly, that, um, what's it called? That R3 race that we did with the Nissan. One of the worst races I've ever done in Forza history. That was a terrible corner. But that includes. Um, Motorsport 1, Motorsport 2, and the entire Motorsport 3. That was so bad. Was such a bad race. Hated it. Mow wow. Mow wow. Mow wow. Mow wow. the reservoir. Hold in friction. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Taste the back of my crystal fist. Dog of the reservoir, cause in friction. A A. I need to grab a drink after this one. Honestly, the Koenigsegg is such a nice looking car. Like, look at that. You can't tell me that that's not a beauty. Because that is a beauty. Taste the back of my crystal first. Dun -dun. Brown, brown. This is not the right song. There we go, this is the right song. I was confused what the hell was going on there. Playing the wrong song.
So at the moment, based on how long the stream is going to go on for, we are on track, views-wise, to hit 100 before the end. Which would be awesome to hit. If we could hit 100 before the end of the stream, that would be insane. So feel free to share the stream around with everyone you know. Get them to share the stream with everyone they know. Sooner or later, we'll take over YouTube. Ta-da. That's how it was done. That's how Mechanic CG took over YouTube. Bum 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 What's the interior like of this car? I haven't actually checked it. Standard. <laughs> that was a mate. What's the interior? Oh, it's standard. Could exeg. Going wide as fuck. Road and track. I was just saying, my car's only got one wing mirror, it's because I crashed into a wall at some point and lost it. I was going to say, that doesn't look right. Normally they give you a black and yellow flag for something like that. If you can't see the inside of your car, you can't drive.
This is very much a Ridge Racer song. This is the kind of songs that they put in Ridge Racer. But I, I want to know what this genre of music is because I love this type of music. I love it. It's my Ridge Racer vibes. I love Ridge Racer. But I want to know exactly what that exact genre of music is. Fight fire with fire. Alright. Yo. 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 Car behind. 10 seconds behind. Not too bad. Oh, this is an interesting question for anyone in chat. Uh, Coca Cola. Does it taste better in a glass bottle? Me, personally. My opinion is gonna be yes. I, I've so here's here's the thing, right? When it comes to drinks like Coca Cola, or Coca Cola, Pepsi, cola drinks, right? I I'm very fussy with them. Um, tastes best from a can. No, you're wrong. You're wrong, Zeno. You're wrong. No, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Um. I very much enjoy drinking it out of a bottle because of the experience. I don't think it affects the taste. I think it's more a psychological thing, like, oh, I'm drinking out of a glass bottle. This is an awesome experience because we don't drink out of glass bottles very often. And I think that's why it tastes better. I think it's just the experience of having it out of a glass. Um, I think it's a psychological thing that just messes with your head. A, a lot of things mess with your head. Um, but uh, I, I'm a huge fan I prefer if I'm buying drinks I prefer red Coca-Cola full Coca-Cola um, I prefer Pepsi Max over that but obviously if I was to have any of the three it would be Diet Coke then full Coke then Pepsi Max that's sort of my, my list I very much like it and then any flavour variant of Pepsi Max, instant win for me. Love them. Except for the lime. The lime's the only one I haven't enjoyed. Um, 
But, on top of all of those, I think the best way to drink Coke and, like, Pepsi and whatnot, and I think the best soft drink out there, it's full Coke from McDonald's Post Mix. Post Mix drinks, I don't know what they do, because realistically, when you think about it, right, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they're all made in a factory. They're made to a specific standard, right? Post-mix, there's no standard. It's basically just squash. Most companies will probably water it down anyways so that they can get the most out of it and yet still somehow taste better than the stuff that they make in the factory. I have zero clue how, but post-mix is so good. Anything from the machine, post-mix machines is so much better than stuff that you can get out a bottle, can, glass, anything. I love Postmix. And if I go to McDonald's, I love getting a um, full Coke, no ice, just so I can enjoy the entire thing and just have a Postmix drink. I don't know if anyone else shares the same opinion, but I, lo I love Postmix. Obviously, you can't save post-mix drinks. You can't, like, oh, put a top on it and hope that it stays. It, it goes within an, an hour or so. So you have to drink it there and then. But it's so good. So good. So good. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> Yeah, didn't enjoy that corner too much. I'm hoping that before the end of August, uh, I can do a stream where I have a concurrent viewers that is double figures. Because so far, I haven't been able to hit the double figures yet sort of watching now I've obviously hit triple figures in like a stream total from start to finish the amount of people that have joined but I'd love to hit double figures for like right now how many people have you so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace out